I'd like to take a minute to show you one of my favourite problems. It comes from a website called Enrich, and I'll put a link to it on the YouTube channel. If you've had me as a teacher, you may well have seen this already, but it's still one of my favourite problems, so I'm going to put it up on YouTube. So I'm going to create it on GeoGebra. I'm going to start off by putting in a segment of length one. And this is going to form the side of a square. So I'm going to use the regular polygon tool and I'm going to say I want a square with four sides or four vertices. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a quarter circle from each corner. So each of these is giving me a quarter circle and then the last one. And my question is, we've got a square with sides one, we've got quarter circles coming from all the corners, and we have this sort of curved square in the middle. My question is, what's the area of that curved square? So I'd like it in exact form. The answers are on the Enrich website. I'll post a method for doing it as well later. And that's the problem. Here's the solution to the surf puzzle, which I set last week. So here's our picture, and we know that the tangent of a small circle has length 6. So the key thing to this question is to find this triangle. We've got a right angle triangle, I've called one side R and the hypotenuse H, and then we know that because it's half the tangent, it's got length 3. So to find the area of the ring, well that's going to be the area of the outside circle, pi H squared, minus the area of the inside circle, pi R squared. And I can factorise out my pi's. And then the other thing that I can do with my triangle is I can do Pythagoras. So that gives me h squared equals r squared plus b squared, which I can rearrange to 9 equals h squared minus r squared. And because h squared minus r squared is what I've got inside my brackets earlier, I can substitute 9 in there. I get the area is equal to 9 pi. It doesn't matter what the circles look like, so long as the tangent between them is 6, then this will always work, it will always have an area of 9 pi.